Hey everyone, just want to get a quick word out there. Um, got a little fella here I, I uh, rescued on the way home this afternoon. A, an Australian Eastern long neck tortoise. Now a lot of people don't realise that uh, tortoises, even though they have a hard shell on them, people think they can run over them in their cars. So in a span of about a kilometre and a half, uh, this afternoon on my way home, I counted up nine dead tortoises or turtles, uh, the same size as this guy. Now, it is only a theory uh, to tell their age, but they say generally how many circles underneath represents roughly one year. So judging by this little fella, and he's got a little bit of blood there where he's been hit, he's roughly two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12, maybe 13 years old. Now, he managed to crawl probably 900 metres through long grass, knee-high deep grass, to get to the edge of the road, to cross over to another dam. They're not the brightest animal, but instinct tells them in a storm, heavy rain, they've got to get to higher water so that they don't um, obviously drown or die. So he's only doing what instinct told him. He tried to cross the road. Thankfully, I managed to grab him before he got out on the road and got squashed like all his cousins. As I said, you can see a little bit of blood on the side of his shell there where he's obviously been he's obviously been hit or just just touched by a car or maybe inside there um so i guess yeah it's, it's just a shout out um please share this share this video we've got the social media platforms now to spread the word people avoid potholes they'll avoid cute and cuddly furry cats koalas possums Poor old turtles, people think because they've got a shell that you can run over them and they're going to be okay. I had to take one yesterday to a vet which had a gaping hole, maybe that round in the top of his shell. When I pulled up to pick him up, you could actually still see his heart and his lungs actually pumping up and down inside his body like so. Very disheartening. I took him to my local vet who, if they, don't, if they can't save them, they have a big deep freezer and they'll put them in the freezer slows their heart rate down. It's the most humane way to euthanize them. Now, in the last two weeks, I've probably saved maybe six. In the last 12 months, I've lost count. Um, so I will save them off the side of the road and take them to a dam at the end of a, a very quiet street. And that way I can release them in there, hoping that they have a fair chance of living a lot longer. So if you see turtles on the road, please don't think that you can just hit them with your car and they'll be okay because they've got a hard shell. Their shell is only a thicker version of your fingernail. So if you imagine running over your finger, it'd bloody hurt. Um, these poor buggers, they grow about as slow as they walk. They take forever to get to a decent size and due to people not caring or not knowing, they run over them, they kill them. They're actually dwindling in numbers in wild um, due to soft shell disease due to water contaminations, pollutants. So there is actually a real problem at the moment with bigger turtles not surviving. So please, they're cute little things. If you see it on the side of the road and it's safe to pull over, try and do so, pull over. Do like I've got a, a cardboard box in the back of the car or a bucket I leave in here all the time. If you catch them, they don't bite. They're not venomous. Pick them up, put them in the bucket, put them in a box and take them somewhere off a main road, off a busy road where there's a dam and let them go. Um, they deserve to live. We need them. They're part of the ecological system. I'll keep saving them. And hopefully if you can share this video, hashtag the hell out of it, do whatever you got to do, but get it out there. Show as many people, share and like it. Um, I'll post this on YouTube as well. But yeah, they're, they're, they're a cute little, cute little fella. You can't see his face because he's pulled his head in. He's a little, little bit shy, this one, but he had his, he did have his uh, face out a minute ago and was looking up at me with his big goggly eyes. So they're cute. Let's try and save them, please. Thank you.